Late last year, we launched a new scope in the form of the 6 to 24 by 50 Helix first focal plane, which has proven to be one of our best selling models. Well, we've got fantastic news for you. The Helix has a new little brother. This is the 4 to 16 by 44 first focal plane. It is the smallest and lightest scope that we've made to date, and we're super excited to tell you more about it. Being part of the Helix family, the 4 to 16 looks and feels very similar to its bigger brother. Um, as far as similarities go, the list is quite long. It's got the same 30 millimeter main tube. It's got the same uh, sort of tactical style turrets with six mils or 15 MOA per revolution, depending on which model you get. Got the same tool-free resettable turrets with a built-in zero stop, same parallax. The lenses are fully multi-coated and Pretty much the same accessories are included in the box. Flip up caps, bikini cover, a three inch sunshade, although this sunshade is obviously 44 millimeters instead of 50, lens cloth, and a few other small things. So clearly this Helix is catering to a very similar shooter as the 6024 by 50 would be catering to. Well, yes and no. Um, clearly this scope is made for Precision shooting, you can just tell by looking at it. The tracking tolerance is as good as you're gonna get for a scope in this price range. The turrets are clearly made to be cranked up and down, and that kind of opens the door for long range shooting at gongs or PRS shooting or hunting at long range, where you need to dial up, you need to come back to zero reliably, and you need to trust your optic. The main difference really is the objective lens diameter, and the magnification range. As you can see in the name, the magnification ranges from four times to 16 times. Now we've had a lot of requests for something in the slightly lower magnification range, um, in particular for hunters who need to possibly take long shots at certain times, but also may stumble upon something at a much closer range and need that wider field of view. The 44 millimeter objective is a pretty standard size for this magnification range. It allows in plenty of light, but it also means that the light that comes in doesn't have to be bent at such an extreme angle as a 50 millimeter lens would, uh, would require. And that means that optically the scope is going to be extremely sharp. In my opinion, it's actually a little bit sharper than the 6 to 24 by 50. Another optical benefit from the low magnification range and the small objective lens is that your depth of field is going to be a little bit deeper. That means that more of your sight picture is going to be in focus at any given time and that helps a lot when you're hunting. If your target is moving from one distance to another or if you're shooting a PRS match and you're engaging two targets at different distances and you don't have time to fiddle with your parallax, the 44mm objective is going to allow you to have more in focus at any given time. The 4 to 16 actually also has more elevation travel than the 6 to 24 by 50 this is not some sort of trickery or something, it's just mathematics. It's got to do with uh, certain lengths and distances inside here and how the erector tube moves inside the scope. But this is going to give you 80 MOA or a little over 23 mils of internal adjustment, which we think is pretty good. Another difference between the 6 to 24 and the 4 to 16 is that the 4 to 16 parallaxes from 15 yards or meters to infinity, while the 6024 parallaxes down to 10 yards or meters. To be honest, at four times magnification, pretty much everything is in focus anyway, and you'll see below 15 yards very, very clearly. But if for whatever reason you need to engage targets at very close ranges for, let's say, air rifle shooting or something, you may need to consider that. We've put links below to those of you who are interested to learn more about the tool-free uh, turrets and the zero stop system. We feel that these are high-end features that shouldn't be reserved only for high-end scopes. So we've made a lot of effort to get them in our um, sort of entry-level scopes like the Helix. Um, if you're interested in that, then check out the links below. Now, let's talk reticles. The 416 has the same reticles that are in the 6 to 24 first focal plane, the APR 2D MRAD and MOA, and we may have some um, APR 2C clean reticles coming quite soon. 
but there is a difference between these and the ones that are in the 6224. We have fine-tuned this for this magnification range. Now, the 6224 has a reticle that's quite fine, and that's because we expect shooters who buy the 6224 to use that scope at the high magnification range. Because if you're not planning to use it at high magnification range, you might as well get this one. So 624 caters to those high magnification ranges where you've got your scope dialed to like 20 or 24 times zoom, and you need that reticle to not be too thick. The downside obviously is on the 6024, when you go down to six times, the reticle can be quite thin. With the 4 to 16, we're expecting shooters who buy the scope to use it at four times and maybe five times, six times when hunting. So we've made this reticle slightly thicker and we've adjusted the sub tensions a little bit to make it more usable at low magnifications. If you are using night vision, you need that reticle to be thick enough that you can spot it easily in your night vision. Or if you're shooting in low light conditions at low magnification, trying to find a fox moving across a field or a jackal, you need to be able to have a reticle that's thick enough that your eyes don't struggle to see it in those light conditions. So we've made this slightly thicker and we think at low magnifications, this is a fantastic fit. And at high magnifications, it's a little bit thicker than the 6024, but it's still very, very usable. As you can see, the 4 to 16 has now replaced the 6024 on my vomiting rifle, my trusty 22 to 50. I use this for shooting small varmints like ground squirrels and monkeys. I need something short and light, and I need something that can go down to low magnifications for taking shots at moving targets from closer distances. And this does the job perfectly. And I should add, we do have aftermarket neoprene covers available for this model, um, which will just help to keep it protected when walking through thick bush or um, in adverse weather conditions. So ask your dealer about these. And before we wrap this up, you may notice that there is a little tag on the scope. This is a inspection tag, which is signed off by a technician who puts this scope through some stringent quality control tests before it is sent out to dealers to make sure it meets our expectations and our standards. And at the back, there is a, a QR code which you can scan to access some video resources on mounting and talking your rings down and all kinds of things. There is also a warning here, do not talk your rings down more than 18 inch pounds. This is really important. But um, if you ever have a problem with your scope, it is of course covered by our platinum lifetime warranty, which is very easy, requires no registration. If you ever have an issue, you simply contact us and we will help you to either replace your scope or fix it for you. As always, thank you for watching. We hope that you are as excited about this little guy as, as we are and we would appreciate it if you check out our social media accounts and of course tag us in your own pictures and videos using the hashtag see it send it we'll see you next time